everybody. It's Mrs. Cadiddle Hopper here. I'll, I'll just use my short name, Mrs. Shortell. Today I have a good story for you. This is called Peanut Butter and Homework Sandwiches. Let's read. It's written by Lisa Brody Cook and it's illustrated by Jack A. E. Davis. Okay? So, Peanut Butter and Homework Sandwiches. It was Monday, and all Martin McGregor wanted to do was go, go to school. Mr. Elliot was the coolest teacher ever, and this was the day he was going to bring home his pet, Harriet the Tarantula. Oh, my. That would be an interesting class pet, wouldn't it? But when Martin, McGre when Martin McGregor burst into class, he was surprised to see a tall lady with orange hair piled on top of her head. My name is Mrs. Payne. Mr. Elliot will be out of school for a while. Martin McGregor learned two things at school that day. One was Mr. Elliot had broken his arm mountain climbing, and the other was Mrs. Payne loved giving mountains of homework. After school, Martin McGregor sat down to do his homework. Just as he worked the last problem, he spied the jar of peanut butter on the kitchen counter. Sadie, I need some brain food. Oh my gosh, look, there's the peanut butter over here. Martin slopped the peanut butter on the one slice of bread and he dripped a mountain of jelly on the other. The peanut butter and jelly oozed out the side as Martin took a big bite. Splat! Martin's paper was covered with peanut butter and jelly. Oh, great! Martin got up to get a paper towel, but before he could clean up the mess, Sadie was doing it for him. Oh dear. Look. Sadie, you didn't just eat the peanut butter. You ate the whole paper, yelled Martin. This gives new meaning to the dog ate my homework. What will Mrs. Payne think? <laughs> uh, well, the dog ate its homework, I guess. On Tuesday morning, when Martin tried to tell Mrs. Payne that his dog really and truly did eat his homework, she did not believe him. Martin McGregor had to redo his homework and miss playing kickball at recess. Martin learned one more thing about Mrs. Payne that day. There were absolutely no excuses for no homework. When Martin got home from school, his mother said, I'm washing jeans, Marsh Martin. Throw in the ones you're wearing. Martin dropped his jeans into the washer and watched the water swish around his clothing, then headed upstairs to start his homework. Sadie followed him close behind, hoping for more peanut butter. Martin McGregor reached into his pocket for his spelling paper. My homework, yelled Martin as he raced back downstairs to the washer. It was too late. The spin cycle had begun and Martin McGregor's homework was faded beyond recognition. That was my kid's spin cycle. Oh dear. Whew. He's running around with his own, without his pants on. Oh dear. Martin McGregor learned on Wednesday that Mrs. Payne didn't like stiff and bleached out homework. He had to miss kickball again and write over and over again. I will do my homework neatly. I will do my homework neatly. Mrs. Mr. Elliot would never make me do this, Martin mumbled under his breath. Oh dear. 
he's missing recess because he's not getting his homework done. <sighs> Thursday morning was a little crazy in the McGregor house. It was the first day of preschool for Martin's little sister. She was so excited that she practically bounced right out of her chair and didn't touch her eggs. She insisted on a backpack just like her big brother. His mom dropped off Martin first. He grabbed his backpack. <coughs> Excuse me. He grabbed his backpack out of the van and raced into the room to give Mrs. Payne his homework. Mrs. Payne, I have my homework today, Martin said excitedly. He opened his backpack and Martin McGregor couldn't believe his eyes. The backpack had no homework. Instead, he saw the yellow hair of Miss Nettie, his sister's favorite doll. Oh no, I think he got the wrong one. Look, 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 Martin brought his dolly, cried Sammy, Sammy, Samuel Hall. He grabbed Miss Nettie and he started to throw her around the classroom. Martin McGregor tried desperately, desperately to catch Miss Nettie but he was unsuccessful. Mrs. Payne was successful. She grabbed Miss Nettie in midair and marched Martin and Samuel to the principal's office. Oh no. Martin McGregor missed recess again. Worst of all, he had to sit next to Samuel Hall the taker of everyone's dessert at lunch for the rest of the week. Oh no. Look at all the desserts he got, jeepers. That evening, Martin did, Martin's dad stopped by his room. How's the homework going, son? Martin sighed and plopped his head down on the dictionary. Why can't she give us something interesting for homework? This is boring. After you finish, why not think about up your own homework, his dad said. What do you want to learn about? What can you research on your computer? Tarantula, right? Martin got a fabulous idea. He spent the rest of the evening on his homework. And Harriet made the perfect subject. Martin made a book of tarantula facts. He filled his wall with pictures of tarantulas. He made a tarantula out of clay and pipe cleaners. Martin even turned Sadie into a tarantula by adding extra legs to her with his dad's black socks. At dinner, he even made one out of his chickpea, his chicken and his noodles. He made it into a tarantula. He's really excited about that pet, isn't he? Friday morning, Martin wasn't taking any chances. He held his stack of definitions all the way to school. As he approached the building, a sudden gust of wind sent the papers flying. No matter how fast Martin ran, the papers blew faster. He caught one and another, but the last two did loopity loops in the sky before landing on the rooftop of the school. Martin McGregor had to redo the two lost pages of definitions, and he had to look up 10 extra words. He learned that homework on the roof didn't count, according to Mrs. Payne. Oh dear. The next week, Martin McGregor dragged himself into the classroom. He had put his homework carefully in his backpack, but he worried something would go wrong and Mrs. Payne would be unhappy with him. When he got to the classroom, he couldn't believe his eyes. There was Mr. Elliot, Elliot's pet, Tarantula, Harriet. Oh, if Harriet's back, maybe Mr. Elliot is too. Martin McGregor saw smiling Mr. Elliot. 
Good to be back. How did last week go, Martin? Asked Mr. Elliot. Martin McGregor was speechless. At the end of the day, Mr. Elliot said, Class, I have your homework assignment. The room was filled with groans. Oh. Mr. Elliot continued, I want you to find out everything you can about tarantulas. Whoever finds the most facts can feed Harriet next week and keep her for the weekend. The room was filled with cheers. Everyone wanted to take Harriet home. Martin McGregor grinned and thought, I wonder how my mom and sister will feel about a weekend guest. Would you want a tarantula in your house? Martin McGregor thought that would be a fun idea. Thanks for reading with me today. Bye, everybody.